Put selfers and after selfers we'll go to pick. Perfect. We have made it to Iceland and here's our rental for the week. Black Beauty. Here we go. Crossing the toes, coasting these sleeping bags. I come to know the memories were the best things you'll ever have. The sun was shown. Be down on bony back, so far from home where the ocean stood, them dusty pine cone tracks. Just breakfast out of the gas station. Oh. Doing as the locals do. We stand by dogs down by the fireside, who oh, to the fog will all around the bloom of summertime. I'm really off my game. It's day one and I already have blisters. Help. Help me. First stop in Iceland. A waterfall that I cannot begin to pronounce. How to stay fit while traveling. <laughs> Run the stairs to all the Icelandic waterfalls. I'm already tired. We've gone like 15 steps. So I think we're about to go underneath that and this is only water resistant. We stood as steady as the stars in the woods, so happy hearted with the warmth and true inside these bones. As steady as the stars in the world So happy heart with the warm And true inside these bones Here we go again <laughs> Oh normal, wait, sure. there's, one more, there's one more left Oh guys, wait, this is so cute He needs to get back to the pack Oh, there's a few stragglers The decision has been made, and as a travel blogger, I think this is pretty cool. Iceland might be where planes go to die, but look at that. The story goes, in 1970-something, a U.S. DC-3 um, United States Navy plane went down on the beach after um, it had accumulated some ice, apparently. I hope I'm telling the story right. The fuselage still stands and it's one of Iceland's major photography locales. And you can stand on it, you can go inside, you can do whatever at your own risk. Ever wanted to know what a wreckage of a U.S. Navy Super DC-3 looked like? Here's your shot. Is it recording? Yes it is. All right, all right. We have just finished day one of Iceland adventures here on the black sand beaches of Vik, spelled V-I-K. And it's about a three hour drive from the airport where we flew in this morning. Uh, and it's been a long day because the flight from New York is only five hours. And it left at 6.30, which meant I didn't sleep, I didn't get tired, I watched Game of Thrones, guilty, so when we landed, it was about midnight my time and I was in a, a world, a world of hurt because I knew that we were just going to get started right then and there when we landed and sleep was not going to come for another few hours, so, but it's been a good day. Um, we have persevered and made it through many, many scenic routes and photography sessions and now we are here where the Atlantic Ocean is our view for sunset. Take a look. I feel like Patagonia, Easter Island, Peru, New Zealand, and Australia got together, had a baby, and named it Iceland. 
and it's pretty much the most amazing thing on the planet. Life on the road, living out of a car. Take the 41 ramp on the left, then keep left at the fork. Welcome to the oldest pool in Iceland. Iceberg, right ahead. Totally kidding. That's a glacier. This may be my favorite spot on the ring road so far. Trying to eat me. Oh. Cut those off. I think you're done. Well, I guess it can't always be sunny here in Iceland. We've got to have some rainy days somewhere, but <laughs> this is not ideal. So apparently you're not supposed to uh, dunk your hair in the blue lagoon due to too much silica. What's going on? Give us a rundown. It's getting to be a rat's nest. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you put it up. I'm hoping it's just, Pro tip. you know, an intense treatment. Right. And it will wash out. You are not at the spa. No. But we're going to get silica masks. I got silica in my front row. In life. <laughs> I need a new mask. And your hair like, is in. The silica hair is gonna happen. I'll be able to tell y'all that if I play, I'll be what's gonna happen. I really went under there. <laughs> from Bubbleland. <laughs> so I was on the way to the airport when I passed this crater. I had to pull over, pay the 400 kronos to gain entry. And here I am. All right, time to go. Literally running to make the flight. <laughs> I got an hour and a half drive ahead of me. Race against the clock. Here we go.